Hey everybody, Brian here. Now you're probably wondering what I'm holding, what I have here. Well, in case some of you don't know about this, uh, this is Tversity. This has actually been around for quite some time. It's got a lot of associations, I think, with, um, as you can see, with NBC News and Business Week and a few others. And uh, one of the things about it is it allows you. It well, let me kind of explain this. You see, TVversity is basically the um, uh, uh, TVversity is basically the um, I guess you could say the newer version. of um it's basically the newer version tversity is basically well tversity basically is like an a more improved version of um of uh, windows media now in case some of you don't know uh, what that means is that Windows, what that means is, well, let's put it to you like this. You remember some of the videos I did where I talked about how you need to go to a certain, to the media sharing section of your Windows media player, uh, click on that, and it instantly allows you to, and basically say all devices, basically the ones you use, use, and it allows you to, you know, basically watch your videos or listen to your music through your Windows, on your Xbox 360 because of your Windows Media Player? Well, this is sort of the same way. Now, basically what this allows you to do, if you have uh, an Xbox 360 like I do, it allows you to add stuff to it. Now, YouTube you know, allows people to, to add things as well, so you can actually, because, you know, I know one of the things that I've complained about, not complained about, but I've talked about, and one of the things I know other people have been wondering about is, you know, when are we going to get basically a, a YouTube, when is Xbox 360 going to get YouTube? You see, that's the thing. We want to know when, when are they going to get, like, YouTube and all that, so... So basically, uh, Tversity is Tversity right here is basically the easy way to do it. Now, as I explained in my previous video, where I talked about it a little bit, kind of showed you the results of it in the first video. Um, here, I'm showing you more detail now. In my now, I did make a video previously where I showed you that I had it on my computer in my room, but seeing as though my computer lags a little bit due to certain things and also the fact that it's a Windows XP, uh, I, decided to just sh I decided to take the TV Varsity off of that and just, you know, put, use this one. Now, as you can see here, it says add what? You know, this is add YouTube, and it gives you everything you want to add. If you want to add, I don't know, user or favorites or playlists, like, Okay, I want to add my playlist, right? Put in BW Roses, like that. As you can see there. I don't know if you can see it. Submit. And it'll be added on. So I'll have my playlist on there. Now if I want to add... Now my videos, let's say I want to add them, right? Or I want to refresh them. I don't need to refresh my videos. A anyway... But let's say I want to add, let's say, let's say I want to add, I don't know, okay, well let's expand it, let's get into a more expanded version here.
Maybe this will help out a little bit. Yeah, here we go. This helps out a lot more. This is a full screen of it, but basically, I don't know if you can see that, but basically, let's say I want to add, I don't know, top favorites. Let's say I want to add that. I can add it, so it's on there. Now, let's say for YouTube, I want to... Let's say I want to add recently added. There you go. I put in recently added. Basically, what will happen? Basically, what will happen is these will all go to my um, account. These will all go to my Xbox 360. And when you go to your video section, like I showed you in uh, the first video, and you see TV Versity on PC One or whatever you call your computer, then that will show you. Hey, here you go. Now. Let's say, let's say, for example, I have an internet video, and one of the internet videos I like to watch at times is uh, Nostalgia Critic. You know, he's, one, he's very popular, right? Let's say I like to watch Nostalgia Critic. Okay. One of the things I like watching about him is the commentary he did for his uh, Sonic video that he did a couple of years ago. He did a commentary on it. Here it is. And this is basically what he is right here. This is the video. This is the link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. I'm going to stop it right there. And then what I'll do once I copy it is I'll come back here to the TVversity icon that I have. And it says Internet Video. I'll put in Video UL. And, okay, I, okay, it already exists there, but, all right, now it says it already exists, so that's okay. Now, what do we do? Okay, well, here's what I would do. Here's what I do. I'll go to that guy with the glasses. Go to, to his site. Go to Doug's site. And what I could do here, what I could do here, is I could take I can take this link right here when he did um, King Kong the old versus new and what I could do is I could copy it I copy that like I did and then what I do is I bring it down to here where I put this at hook that in make sure it's all there okay submit and it's been added. So basically now when I go to internet video or movies, it'll be there. Now, let's say I also want to add James in. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I, I like the angry video game nerd, so let's try James. Okay, here he is. Go to his site. Now he does, I don't know if this is a video or not, it is a video, so here's what we do, we take this, right here, we go back over here, we go to add to where internet video is, and we put that in, we submit, and it's been added. Now what does this mean? Well, it means, basically, that it's been added on. Now, now you could leave the icon on there if you want to. You could leave it down here. It's not really going to do that much damage. Or you can minimize it and go like that. And again, it won't really do much damage. It's kind of like, it's kind of like having the Windows Media Player thing right there. But again, it's not really going to do much damage, so just leave it if you want to. It's like, again, it's like when you turn on the Windows Media Player and you leave that on listening to music and all that, it's not going to do any damage. Now, what's this going to look like? Well, let's go to part three of this unexpected three-parter and I'll show you, and hopefully my batteries on my digital camera don't die.